Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to Elements Awoken. So in the last episode, we went on a little bit of an expedition to the dungeon, and as you can see, although it killed me about 900 million times, honestly, I didn't even put all the deaths in there because the death montages were starting to get a little bit, uh, a little bit silly, but it killed me a million times, but even though it has done that to me, it has borne fruit in the form of the Spectre set which I did a little bit of a comparison to the Draconite set, and this one is clearly better. I mean, the magic damage that I get from this makes every weapon significantly stronger, increases my mana by, I don't think, quite as much, but you know what? More armor, more damage, what's not to love? After that, we mop the floor with the Golem, and now here we are. We are ready to take down the next mod boss, which is Permafrost who I kind of sort of was putting off a little bit in the last episode. I fully intended to do it then, but I just didn't really, didn't really have the ability to do so at that point because I wanted to make sure I got everything that I possibly could to make sure I was as ready as I could be because I have no idea whether or not this guy is going to be a challenge. Some of you guys have said that he's like not easy. He's like relatively like, you know, like he's, he's not an easy boss. He's not going to be a cakewalk, but also he is sort of also Sans from Undertale. I don't know why, but uh, people have been telling me that's what he looks like. So, we're gonna go and do that guy. He's gonna be the first thing on the list. There's not really a whole lot to talk about. I got a new summon buddy over here. Unfortunately, he ain't no happy little clown, but the Soul Skull does a good bit more damage and inflicts Soul Inferno, which I guess is another debuff, so you know what, why not? Shame he doesn't test it out on the bunnies. I would love that, watching this guy fly around and murder every bunny within a 100 mile radius. Something to add into the game. Something that kills bunnies for me. Just an automatic bunny murderer. I would love that. That would be the best thing in the entire world for me. Wouldn't even have to get up from my chair. Just, you know what? Summon him out, send him, and he will wipe the floor with the bunny threat. But you know what? We got this guy. So that's all good. Big spooky skull. Okay, well, I've pretty much got everything ready to go. I've got my potions all set up. I've got a whole bunch of different spells that I can choose from here. All of my armor and equipment is all good to go. I think we are as ready as we can be to take down Permafrost. So I guess we will head over to our lovely little base. Not really base, our lovely little arena. And take him down. And hopefully everything goes really well. I have the fullest hopes and highest expectations for this. I know I'm ready to get rid of this hypothermia debuff. You guys were right. Maybe I should have taken this guy down before Gollum, but whatever. Okay, so here we are. We're ready to go before a blizzard or something happens. We've got our enchanted ice crystals. So ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, I present you Permafrost. Everything's getting blue. Okay, let's buff up. Oh God. Okay, well, yeah, I can see why you said he looks like Sans. I see it. Oh God, he teleports. He's gonna do that a couple times, is he? Oh God, wow. Okay, so we got some snowflakes here. Got some snowflakes. We are kind of melting through him. Ow, God. Icor, go, switch to the other hood, the other specter hood, heal myself right back up. This part is a little bit challenging. God, the teleporting is kind of uh, something here. It's definitely something here. Try to get myself as healed up as I can. Okay, he's got more. He's getting a little angrier now. If I keep this hood on, I might have it on forever. Ow, God. But you see, things like that are the reason why we have it in the first place. Is this even the best weapon to use against this guy right now? I don't even know. Let's go with let's go with the nasty staff. The gross one. You charge it up a little bit here. Blast him with it. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Big damage. Big damage. Big damage. Uh, not really. Okay, not really all that big a damage. You know what? We're good. Oh, God. Enormous amounts of things are coming at my face, and I just got murdered by him. Okay. So you're right. He's not a cakewalk. That That's kind of sort of something, I suppose. He's a... It's pretty hard. He hits pretty hard. And I don't have an infinite supply of life force potions, so I would kind of rather deal with him as quickly as possible. Maybe I should just keep the hood on. Maybe I should just never take it off. Okay, we're going to try this again. See how it goes better this time, hopefully. Here he comes. It's kind of hard to see any of these projectiles here, I gotta say. They really blend in remarkably well with the background. And I'm not so much a fan of that. Oh my god, it is really hard to see those projectiles. They like, they blend in ever so perfectly with the background. It is like, ugh, alright. Okay, it looks like I think we might finally have him. I just have to focus up a little bit more. My god, this fight just does not want to end. So close, 500, 400, 200, 150, there we go, we took him down, ladies and gentlemen. 
Whew! Okay, we got some more mist. Who are you really? A simple lost soul? The path ahead is long. You are getting closer. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I, uh... I think we got Permafrost down. I guess that's all he has to say, too. Interesting. Whoever that is. Everything is real misty. We got him down. Oh my god. That was a really, really intense fight. And honestly, if that is what sets the stage for how the next bosses are going to be going, then my god. I, I, ugh, I don't even know what to say about that. I have a lot of work ahead of me, is what I'm saying. Because, wow. Enormous damage. After I kind of sort of figured out a lot of the way that he worked, the only issue were those projectile snowballs that were coming flying towards me. Or I guess they're snowflakes? I don't know. But once I figured out that they broke whenever they hit a solid object, and also the fact that you could take them out of the snow biome, that just made things a whole lot simpler, a whole lot easier. I finally took them down. I had to make an enormous amount of potions, and I kind of chewed through quite a bit of them, but I got everything I needed now. We're good. Everything is great. That was, that was a fight. That was a fight. My god. We still have another mod boss ahead of us as well, but we have the Martians before that. But, but before I get into any of that business, let's open up the treasure bag and see what we got. So we got the strong ice wrath. We got a ranged weapon. That's kind of disappointing. I don't know if I want to fight him again for the magic weapons. We got the trophy, which is definitely well earned. And for the expert mode drop, we got the soul of the frost. The icy power source of permafrost. 10% increased damage. Immunity to chilled, frostburn, and frozen. And armor penetration increased by 10. Interesting. Maybe perhaps time to put that on, because that actually seems really good, especially with that armor penetration and damage increase. What about the Awaken mode drop? The player generates an ice shield after 10 seconds of not taking damage, takes 20 seconds of charging to block 100% of damage. But uh, yeah, that Soul of Frost definitely might be something I want to equip. Seems pretty good. Thank God I had the Specter Hood, by the way. I have to say, if it wasn't for that thing, I really don't know if I'd have been able to take him down, because my God, he hits, he hits like a truck. All of his attacks easily between, like, 1 to 200 damage every time. Easily. Oh my god. Well, um, I'm not gonna worry about the magic stuff from him. We're gonna move on to the next guy. I don't know. Should I do the Martians first? Maybe, perhaps, I should do the Martians first. I'm not sure. Obsidious. Use at nighttime an Ulticor. Hmm. I don't know. Is there anything all that great from the Martians that I would need other than the... UFO, which I don't think I'm gonna need because these boots are really, really nice, I gotta say. So I don't think I'm gonna need that. Maybe for the Moon Lord at some point, I should probably take him down. I don't know if there's gonna be anything new associated with them, maybe new weapons or anything. Uh, let's take a quick peek into Recipe Browser and see if there's actually anything I can do with any other stuff. Well, there is a new weapon that comes from the Martian Conduit Plating, Thunder Soul, but I don't know if I have any more Biomatter. I have to go hunt down Plantera again if I want that. It doesn't look like the Martian Saucer's drops are useful for anything either. I don't know. I can make a matter manipulator out of the laser drill. Very, very late into the game. Ah, uh, whatever. Well, if the Martians aren't going to be all that useful, then I think I'm just going to skip straight to Obsidious. Thankfully, I have lots and lots of potions now, thanks to Permafrost. Really appreciate all that, bud. That was real nice of you. Drop all this stuff in there. I think I am going to keep the Soul of the Frost. I don't think I'm going to keep the Icy Heart, though. This, let's see if the Goblin will be generous today. Maybe he will be nice and give me a good reforge. I'm hoping for something nice. Arcane is not good. Precise is not good. This is very expensive. I'm going to lose all of my gold from this. I'll settle on Lucky. Whatever. Hmm. Now, what to swap it out with? Well, I don't want to get rid of the Frozen Gauntlet. That's too good. Geode is too good as well. Maybe the Mage's Focus? The increase in max mana doesn't really matter all that much, I guess. Reduce mana usage? Eh. I need a dash. The Ethereal Shell is a must-have as well. Maybe I'll throw on the Soul of Frost. We'll throw it on there, see what it's like. If it's not any better, then uh, put the Mage's Focus back on. So who is next on the list? We have Obsidious. I'm pretty sure, yes, I can craft an Altacore. So I need to use it at nighttime, huh? Okay, well, I will do that. Head up to the surface, and I guess we'll swap it tonight, and then give this guy a try and see how it goes. The power he seeks uses at night. Okay, well, uh, ladies and gentlemen, from one boss straight into the next, let's, uh, let's try Obsidious. Where are you? You have something I require. Ah, hello! Yes, I do, I guess, because you're really coming after me. It looks like you're shooting Draconite bolts at me. Why are you so fast? My god! What, what do I even shoot at? You are extremely fast. 
The projectiles aren't extremely tough to dodge, but I'm assuming they probably hit really hard to uh, make you really feel bad about being dumb enough to get hit by them. So, what are you running around with a piece of Draconite? What are you exactly? Are you a person? Are you just like a regular Terrarian? I'm getting a lot of Aerozor vibes from you right now, I gotta say. Lots and lots of Aerozor vibes. Maybe this guy will be like a Scourge fighter. Not really like incredibly challenging, but like a nice optional boss to have on the side. Maybe I ought to use something homing. Try the Specter Staff. Maybe that'll be a little bit better. At least I can actually hit him that way. I'm kind of taking him down. Not bad. Slowly but surely, we're taking him down. Oh god, okay, so there's some green stuff in there now. He's shooting some magic rocks at me. He's got magic rocks. Very slow-moving magic rocks that also hit for a... Whoa, what was that? Impaled? What did I get impaled by? Easy, you do not deserve such power. What? What happened? I don't even know what happened. Out of nowhere, I just got hit for like 400 damage. Um, alrighty then. I don't really know what happened there. I think I'm going to give that another try, though. Pretty sure I can make a few of those summons. Let's grab them. Head back up there. Um, interesting. Very interesting. Come on, kid. Hand it over and I'll spare you the pain. What is it exactly that I have? Okay, we've switched to frost now using ice powers. I imagine, oh, okay. Well, that's something. Oh no, don't get hit by that. Looks bad. What? What is even going on right now? I don't even understand this boss. This seems like the least effective of all of them. Okay, so now we're purple. We've got shadow power now. Okay. Is something else going to happen when he dies or like what's, what's going on here? This seems a bit odd. This just seems odd to me. I don't know why, but something about this just kind of... I don't know. Alright, well... I guess he's gonna die. I don't... I'm sorry I didn't have a magic rock for you. I guess you want that magic rock. You know, with all this power, why don't you just go farming by yourself? It really doesn't take that long to get Chlorophyte. Throw on a Spelunker Potion, you're good to go. Okay. What happened? Okay. Oh. 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 Okay, well, we're bigger now. I didn't want to have to do this. Well, I don't really think I want you to do it either. Okay, so you're kind of slow moving. You're shooting lots of projectiles at me. I'm just going to keep my distance is what I'm going to do. Maybe that'll work. Okay, I wasn't expecting this. He did seem a little bit easy. Okay, so keep my distance and then everything will be fine. We'll just keep running away from him. If this does not work, then giant sky bridge it is. See, if you could turn into this, really, why don't you just go and get what you want by yourself? Why do you need it from me? What did I ever do to you? Explain this to me. Ah, God. Don't get hit by the green rocks. The green rocks are bad. We learned this. This is also taking a very long time. If I die, can he just come back in a second phase and we can skip all that uh, running circles we did the first time? I'm assuming don't get hit by the lasers probably be a good idea. I mean, he's kind of cool. I didn't sacrifice my life for nothing. The core will be mine. Okay, we got green again. I'll just stay over here. Where is he at? Is he going to despawn? What's happening? Oh, God. Okay. What happened? What happened? What is a happening? There's a happening happening, and I don't know what's happening. So, what are we doing here? So, he's a lunar tower now. He's sparkly. He is really sparkly. You're a very pretty boss. Okay. No, my crystal is too powerful. I can't die. It's impossible. Are you sure about that? You look like you can. I'll just keep spinning. I'll just keep spinning. Keep spinning and keep keeping my distance. A solar eclipse is happening. Of course it is. I hope that doesn't interfere with me. Upset. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? Really? That is kind of really frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. I am almost tempted to just cheat sheet that dude because I've clearly demonstrated that I can do the fight. If I started it right at the beginning of nighttime and it is now daytime, does that mean that it took me like... How long did that take me? Go away, Mothron. Excuse me. But does that mean that it took like a whole... How long is an in-game Terraria day? Like 12 minutes? That is disappointing. Today has been an episode of frustrations. Thank you. Cherry on top, isn't it? This is a really intense game of peekaboo, I gotta say. 
That is what this fight has become. Really intense game of peekaboo. Just hide right behind here. Ow, that actually hit me. Well, that's not good. Three buff. It's all right. I'll just hide behind the mountain. Maybe I can get a little bit closer to him this time. Ah, God, his hands can hit me, though. This is a little bit ridiculous, I have to say. This is getting a little bit silly. This is getting to the point where it's kind of uh, frustrating. I'm playing hide and seek. Why does it go up so many times? His shield is just non-stop. This is going to take me all night to do this. He's got so much health. Okay, I think I refreshed the knight now. Pretty sure I did that. So now I just got to sit here and do this for a million years. Okay, almost. One more time ought to be good enough. And there we go. We took him down. Ah, uh, my crystal crumbling. You still aren't strong enough for him. Okay, well, we got an obsidious mask. That's kind of cool. Obsidious robes and obsidious pants. Throw that on there. Take a look at that. See what that looks like on me. Kind of interesting, I suppose. Like molten lava skull man. It's kind of cool. Now, what about the treasure bag? Hopefully you got something for me. I got a magic weapon. Thank God. Violet edge. Ah. So it shoots out some homing explodey bolts. I like that. What about your expert drop? Greed drives even the strongest minds to madness. Oh, it's a mount. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm constantly flying up. Does it, like, have infinite flight, or... What's going on with this thing? Oh, God, what was that? It shoots laser beams, does it? Well, never mind, I might not need the Martians after all. How about that? Very interesting. Well, with all that done, I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. Even though I know it is a little bit on the short side... I don't really think I have enough time to go hunting for some truffle worms to take down Duke Fishron, because it looks like we're going to the ocean for the next episode. We're going to be taking down the big Duke Fishron and then Aquaeus, Aquaeus, whatever it is, strange shell we got to get our hands on. I'm not sure how to get that, but we'll find out eventually. We're going to the beach in the next episode. But like I said, even though this episode is a little bit more on the short side, I think we uh, made a pretty good amount of progress here. We took down some elemental bosses. We got... A bunch of new stuff. Well, not really a bunch. We got something new from each of them, so you know what? That's a victory for me. That's pretty good progress, I'd say. So, let me murder some bunnies real quick with my new explodey purple fireball, whatever those things are, staff. And like I said, I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you're having a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.